We're going on a little road trip today. Made it here. Let's go see where the man himself is. How are you? Awesome. So we're at Ethan's shop. Wow, you have completely changed this since I was last here. It feels so different. The crane is new. Yep. Yes, sir. And the milling machine is new. Yep. And so then and then the concrete and the mezzanine. Yep. And then as far as machines go, that long lathe is new. That's a railroad steam locomotive lathe that came out of a roundhouse. I think, again, there's no attribute about it that makes it a railroad lathe, but it was used in a roundhouse. I see. Repairing did, did you put this on? Ones. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's Are really cool. Are you familiar with how these, no. uh, how a faceplate works? No, never seen so that. So it's the oldest method of chucking something up in, the, in a steel lathe that I know of. And the, it still has an advantage today, and that is as long as you have centers drilled properly on both sides yeah. for a center to go. Yeah. You can take the piece out of the lathe, try it and put it back in and unlike a three jaw chuck you have you know basically to the thousandth accuracy when you put it back in it's gonna be the same it's gonna be turning on the same center. So how it works then is you have a lathe dog that approximately fits your round and you tighten yeah. the set yeah. screw. Yeah. And then usually it would probably go in a slot and then of course just clamp in between centers. Yeah. And so this is what's spinning it. That's so crude, but that's awesome. Plate. But that's so interesting. Yeah. So we're here today, and we're going to uh, be working on some more hammers for y'all, getting those done, hopefully. So that's what I'm doing down here at Ethan's shop. Thought it'd be fun to take you guys along. And, oh, look at that, the grinding room. That's, whoa, look at that table. Ethan, there's so many cool things. Okay, I'm getting distracted here. Wow, did you make this? I did. That was... That was the last thing that I did in school before I left. I made this in shop. Before you quit, said I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is awesome, Ethan. Okay, so you got tin on the wall, on the back. Yep. Okay. Look at this. Wow, this does some. What size is this for depth? Eight feet, or just shy of eight feet, with, you know, this in the way, and then the yeah, concrete yeah. goes about four inches into the wall. So just shy of eight feet by 20 feet. Wow, because I'm thinking about doing something like this in my shop and it's getting really small fast. Yeah. You know, like it chews up a lot of room. I probably wouldn't go any narrower yeah. than this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but eight feet, I was thinking maybe 10. Yeah, that would be But it's going to be a lot shorter. It's going to be like here to there. Yeah. He's got some new things. It is cool. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time to show you because we actually have to go, go, go on these hammers. So I'm going to start uh, setting up in his grinding room. I'm going to start working on the handles, and then Ethan's gonna fire up his, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bless you. He's gonna fire up his forge and start cracking on forging some more hammers. So uh, let's get to it. Thanks for being here. Gonna come in again with the uh, bow tie tool, is what it's called. It's creating the two cross beam hammers in one go. I'm holding the swage, Ethan's holding the part and running the hammer.
Okay, we're just finished up. Ethan's heading back to my shop. Thanks, Ethan. See you next time. It's getting cold out there. It's feeling like Christmas. I'm getting all nostalgic about last year Christmas time, doing the Axe Reverberation series. What do you think? Should we do another Axe Reverberation series? It's gonna be a little different because we're missing Martin for that. You know, I wanted to talk to you too a little bit about an important tool that I used for that series and still use today. And they just happened to sponsor this video, which is Squarespace. Last year when I was doing the Axe Reverberation, the uh, 10, 10 days of axes, I think it was, we did like 30 axes in like 10 days. It was just crazy, Martin and I, but um, because it was such a fast paced rolling through the axes, uh, Squarespace, who I've been using for many years actually, they allowed me to be able to navigate that really quickly from the website side of things. I'd grab my pictures, boom, 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 put them through Lightroom, upload them, and then it was just like drop them in, hit publish, and it was that speed that was so important to me and the ease of doing it that is one of the reasons I really enjoy using Squarespace. So if you need a website, but that could mean um, e-commerce, a portfolio, a gallery, whatever basically you do that you want to create an online presence for, Squarespace has got your back. And they got your back good, which is great. Because let's face it, you'd probably rather be doing what you're passionate about than building a website. And I don't know, I just feel like encouraging you. If you have been passionate about something and you're thinking about trying to start up, maybe turning it into a business, take Squarespace up, utilize their service, do it. Tim says do it. It's kind of the end of the year, getting pretty close. New Year's resolutions, purpose. Let's try to do this thing. I don't know. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Make sure to use uh, promo code TIMD at checkout gets you 10% off your first purchase. Link is down below and uh, get going on that passion project. Just bite the bullet and do it. It's worth it. It's worth it. So what I'm gonna do now is actually take these hammers, I'm gonna do a little bit of handwork, and then we're gonna build wood boxes. We'll actually probably start with the wood boxes. So this is the finished hammer here. I actually only have three that are unspoken for. So if you're interested in one, they're on my website right now. This is 1912, this one's 49. Thanks to Ethan for working hard on this collaboration. It comes in the box, everything. So those three of those are ready to ship right now. Check the link down below to head over to my website if you're interested in one of those. Anybody who has been waiting on a hammer, they're gonna be getting it real soon. They're all shipping out now. Everybody who's waiting on a hatchet, my attention is fully focused on that now. And I'll be looking forward to getting those out to you soon. Thanks for your patience. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Keep the forge lit. We'll see you in the next one. I guess my attention's not fully focused on the hatchets. These are some 
bronze bowls. Been making for a company called Lock and Mortis. Super cool. And then I gotta do 70 of these steel ones. These are spun on the lathe, hot spun. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below because otherwise I'm just gonna get her done.